students today we are going to learn how to find the t ratios and their applications to solve the problems this is the polygon okay. which has the least number of sides have you seen the triangle other than the textbook somewhere in the world where they yeah. give some examples yeah. with the pyramid mode in construction yeah. in architecture yeah. if you see bridges Hence, relationship between the sides and angles of a right triangle is very useful to discover and apply trigonometry. What kind of a triangle is this, Rida? Can you please tell me? Do you know any property related to right triangle? This side opposite to the 90 degree is the longest and is the hypotenuse and there is altitude and base. Very good. John wants to find the height of the clock tower. Let us help him to determine this with the help of knowledge of triangles. We are going to learn today's topic with one activity that is Lego. Have you heard of Lego? Yes, ma'am. Meet Mr. 90, Beta and Miss Alpha. Hi, I am Mr. 90. The longest side opposite to me in a right angle triangle is called the hypotenuse. Meet my acute friends Beta and Alpha. Hey, the side opposite to me is red in color and the one adjacent to me is pink. Right, but the adjacent side to me is red and the opposite one is pink. Let us check the ratio of the sides in other right triangles as well. Alright girls, let's start with an opening activity. You all have been given the Lego blocks. Start making a right triangle. Think about a Pythagorean triplet and start making a right triangle. Pythagorean triplet you have uh, uh, finished? Uh, triplet of 3, 4, uh, 3 square is 4 square is 5 square. 3, 4, 5 is 5. Most of you are using 
students let us discover trigonometry with the help of similar right triangles and in similar triangles you have already learned that the sides are proportional now let us begin with task 1 and find the relation between the sides of a right triangle in relation with acute angles you must have observed after completion of task 1 that the ratio of the sides remain same for same angle of different right triangles students let us now apply trigonometric functions thus through task 2 we can conclude that the trigonometric ratios of angle q and r are different since their adjacent and opposite sides are also different Trigonometric ratios of an acute angle in a right angle triangle express the relation between the angle and the length of its sides. If one of the t ratios of an acute angle is known, the remaining trigonometric ratios of the same angle can be easily determined. Students, complete task 3 given in the worksheet as well.
thirteen A is equal to twelve by thirteen. O by H. Opposite by hypotenuse. So then, how can you find the third missing side? Okay, by Pythagoras theorem. So by using Pythagoras theorem, you can find the third side, and then you can find the relation between cos A and tan. students please note down the assignment okay students tomorrow we are going to learn to find the values of some specific acute angles